Welcome to this podcast on concatenating strings in SAS version 9, presented by Amadeus Software. My name is Andrew Williams and I work for Amadeus, who are experts in SAS and providers of consultancy, support and training for SAS software. Please visit our website www.amadeus.co.uk to find out more information on this podcast series, as well as the other services we provide. In the following presentation, we aim to explore the new functions introduced into SAS version 9 for concatenating strings. This will be followed by a demonstration comparing each new concatenating function with the method used prior to SAS version 9 in order to achieve the same result. The four concatenating functions that we are going to cover in this podcast are the cat, cat t, cat s and cat x functions. These are faster and more efficient methods of concatenating strings. They also allow the user to use the of syntax to concatenate multiple variable lists. Firstly, let's look at the cat function. The cat function is used when the user wants to concatenate more than one string together, whilst keeping the leading and trailing blanks in each string. The syntax for the cat function is to list the variables or strings you wish to concatenate together separated by commas, enclosed within the brackets of the function. Now let's look at an example. Here I have an example program set up with three character variables, var1, var2 and var3, each containing leading and trailing spaces. Prior to version 9, in order to concatenate these three strings, whilst keeping the leading and trailing spaces, I'd have to write a statement similar to this. However, using the cat function, I can make my code more comprehensive and efficient. As I have three variables, var1, var2 and var3, I can use the of syntax, which will give the same result. Now if I look at the output created, we can see that both methods produce the same output. The second function that we're going to look at is the cat t function. The cat t function is used when the user wants to concatenate more than one string together, removing trailing blanks in each string, but keeping the leading spaces. The syntax for the cat t function is similar to the cat function, where the only change is the function name. Now let's look at another example. Here I have my example program again. Prior to version 9, in order to concatenate these three strings, whilst removing the trailing spaces for each, I'd have to write a statement similar to this, in order to trim and then concatenate the three. Using the cat t function, the code is much more simple. This time I have used a colon operator to concatenate the variables with the prefix var. As you can see by the results produced, both methods create the same output. The third function that we're going to look at is the cat s function. The cat s function is used when the user wants to concatenate more than one string together, whilst removing leading and trailing blanks in each string. The syntax for the cat s function is similar to the cat function. The only change is the function name. Now let's look at another example. Here I have the example program again. Prior to version 9, in order to concatenate these three strings, whilst removing the leading and trailing spaces, I'd have to write a statement similar to this. In order to trim, left align and then concatenate the three. However, when using the cat s function, the code is much more simple. This time I have simply listed the variables out in the order which I want to concatenate them. As shown by the results, both methods create the same output. Finally, the fourth function that we're going to look at is the catx function. The catx function is a very useful function and reduces the amount of coding considerably. 
The function is used when the user wants to concatenate more than one string together, removing the leading and trailing blanks in each string, but then separating the strings using a specified delimiter. The syntax for the catx function is slightly different to the other three functions, where the first argument is the delimiter to be used, then following this are the variables or strings to concatenate together. Now let's look at another example. Here I have my example program again. Prior to version 9, to concatenate these three strings, removing the leading and trailing spaces for each, and separating each by a delimiter, I have to write a statement similar to this. To trim, left align, and then concatenate the three variables, and the delimiters. Here I will also concatenate a literal string with the variables. Using the cat x function, the code is much more simple. The first argument is what delimiter to separate the concatenated string by. If no delimiter is entered, then SAS will assume that the first variable you wish to concatenate is the delimiter. Now I list the variables to concatenate. Again, I have also included my literal string. I have also used the of syntax here to be more efficient. As you can see by the results produced, both methods create the same output. So to conclude, in this podcast we have looked at four different cat functions. The cat function, the cat t function, t for trading spaces, the cat s function, S for both leading and trailing spaces, and the cat x function, x for including an extra delimiter and removing both leading and trailing spaces, and we have explored the syntax for each function. We have also reviewed a comparison against previous methods in SAS for producing the same output. It is worth noting that when the cat functions are used within a data step, if the cat function returns a value, to a variable that has not previously been assigned a length, then that variable is given a length of 200 bytes. That concludes this presentation. Thank you for taking the time to watch this Amadeus Software podcast. We hope that you found it useful. Please make sure to check out the rest of this podcast series via our website please feel free to contact us via email at info at amadeus.co.uk, by telephone or by visiting our website at www.amadeus.co.uk.